What's up everyone, back to the Ninja Figure Creation Channel, I'm your host Chase, and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down all of the Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 sets that we have gotten so far. We do know now that there will be a second wave for this season uh, in March, where we'll get the rest of the sets with the rest of the figures. But overall, this is a very solid wave, and let's just start off with the three gimmick builds. We don't even need to do that deep of a dive into them, because it is just going to be Kai... Aaron and Nia with the uh, original uh, uh, shoulder pads piece that we got a long time ago. Um, and then just with one generic villain and then this really bad dragon build. Um, I don't even know what the play function even is. Oh, I guess it's supposed to like launch or something like that. It's not that interesting. I don't know uh, if there's any reason to buy this set. Um, the only reason maybe because this is the cheapest way to get Aaron, um, but this Aaron isn't even that good in the fifth in the four plus set. Uh, so let's take a look at this one right now. Um, overall, it's an interesting build um, for the villains, uh, even though it is a four plus set, and this doesn't really look that interesting. And I'm sure it has nothing to do with the show at all. Uh, but it does have uh, a side build. The mech looks overall pretty good, except for the legs. Um, I do, do think that this, these 4 plus legs just really shouldn't be there. Um, I know they're just like used to like up, um, bump the price up and like use less pieces. And of course this Aaron is nothing new uh, other than the mask, um, the, uh, which is a new mold I believe for this season uh, because it doesn't have like the strands on the back, it just cuts off so you can have armor underneath there. Um, the, it's all from the previous season. Uh, it's the same suit. So all the ninja besides Aaron and Sora have brand new suits that we will also be getting in the other sets that will be coming in March. Now let's start moving into the great sets of this wave. Uh, well, actually, we'll talk about the March set that was re revealed early, um, which is a four plus set with Wildfire with her brand new look, which looks really, really great. Uh, that brand new hair piece looks really good. Um, and the rest of the uh, figure looks great. Also, it has this one set with the, uh, like this fire blade. Um, and then this brand new Kai print, um, that we've never gotten, uh, anything like this before. So I don't know even know if this is going to be part of the season, but like, look at those shoulder pads. It just looks incredible using the new Dragon's Rising, uh, mask mold. So that looks really interesting, even though it is a four plus set with $40 for 120 pieces. Um, that's interesting, especially because we got a much, um, better version of this dragon, uh, fully brick built, uh, just last wave of Dragons Rising. Um, now let's go into the cheapest one of these sets, which is a battle pack. So this is really interesting because they're able to give these Ninjago, um, these Ninjago sets battle packs for only $10, while the Star Wars ones are $20 for, like, the same amount of pieces, um, and the same amount of minifigures. Um, but it's, it, I mean, that is what it is. It is not, it is not a licensed theme. It is an original theme. Also, the mech of this set looks really bad. I'm just going to say here, the whole idea of it having this big piece that he just sits in just reminds me of a four plus set. Like, I feel like there's so many other things you can do with this amount of pieces. Um, let me know if you want me to buy the set and make an alternate build because I am thinking about doing that for the, uh, uh, for the new Clone Trooper versus Droid Battle Pack. Um, and then you get a, a unique version of Lloyd, um, and then the two villains, which I think, for everyone, this is a pip, uh, set to pick up once to get that J minifigure and to get some more villains. Um, but in like $10, it's a reasonable price, so I think that is definitely a buy set. Now let's get into the Sora Elemental Tech Mech, uh, which we did see a couple Ninjago shorts that like showed uh, these being used in the universe, where you can take... Um, the legs off and the arms off and attach them to the other mechs, which I think is kind of interesting, um, especially like with all of the other mechs. But I do think this is probably the weakest one, even though it does come with some extra foliage right here, which neither, ni neither of the other two mechs come with, um, and also some villain builds. Uh, it is definitely the weakest one because, of course, the Sora minifigure is also not new. Uh, this hairpiece has been in the pit build a minifig for a while now. Um, and then I'm sure, like, you could just add a mask or something like that to the old Sora and get the same minifigure. This also other figure is not unique. So, really, there's no reason to specifically buy this set, especially because uh, the Sora mech uh, from the previous wave, which was, uh, I believe, it was 50 bucks, though. Um, no, no, 40 bucks. That came with more minifigures and i believe a better build but if you want if you like sora and you're interested in that build definitely pick it up but i don't think it's for me now let's go into the cole's elemental earth uh mech 
which I think is a really, really cool idea, especially because how bulky it is. Um, and this hammer, I was really high on this, but now looking deeper into it, I do see a couple of uh, faults. But overall, I'm happy with this. I'm probably going to pick this one up. Um, but I did say in the thumbnail, don't buy any of these sets. And I am saying that because we have gotten some leaks about sets that are coming in March. Some sets that are much better than these ones for the same price. Like there's a Lloyd mech that's coming for $20 that has all the figures in this set. So it's really, really good if you just wait, which is what I'm doing until March, until all the sets are out, then you can make an executive decision on what you want to buy. Because at the end, my goal is to get all of the ninja minifigures to so continue it because dragons rising there's a way you can get two hundred dollars you can get all the best builds and minifigures um so i do de do definitely recommend waiting which is what i'm gonna do so that's why i also waited to make this video to see if any more leaks had released but unfortunately they have not at this point now we have a character from dragon rising season one jordana uh in her new wolf uh sort of outfit that we'll see more of later um and then of course kai and zane exclusively in this set the kai mech looks really good the villain mech looks really bad um it's it's really fine um I'm not a big fan of any of these. Like, the villain minifigures look really good, but the builds are just really, really terrible. It looks like a 4-plus build. Um, so I'm interested to see if that's what they actually look like in the show, because that probably will influence me buying a little bit more. And lastly, the most expensive set. It has been, other than this set, it's been a very relatively cheap way, with most sets being $10, $20, or $30. Now, this is the $70 Elgot the Master Dragon. So this was the dragon in the giant gold orb at the end of the season. Uh... So that is really interesting. So he did get released, I believe. Um, so he's going to play a major part in Season 2. Like I said before, the Sora is nothing new at all. The uh, new Raz, I think, is going to be end up being the only exclusive figure, although he may be in another set that we haven't seen yet. This is Ash, I believe, which is the Master of um, Smoke. Wait, let me just see. Um, Lloyd, Sora, Nia... Uh, Raz with and Cinder, so it's his name Cinder, but he is supposed to be like the mass, new elemental master of smoke, which is interesting, uh, because I do have the old ma elemental master of smoke minifigure, so he's a villain, but him, Nia, and Lloyd will also be in that brand new March Wave twenty dollars Lloyd mech, which we have not seen any images of yet, but we do know that is leaked. Um, so overall, I think this is a good uh, set. $50, 50, 500 pieces for $70. It's okay. I do really enjoy the build of this, uh, though, so I probably will pick it up when it goes on clearance. I think that's the only reason to buy the set, because if those good figures are all, are coming in other sets, there really is no reason to buy any of these, to be honest, until we understand what the rest of it is coming, especially because Sora and Eren have no new ninja build, ninja suits whatsoever. So I'm sure they'll get some new ones later on. So we should just do our best and wait. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, new videos coming soon to the channel and have a great day.